Welcome to my new series called The Issues and Blunders of California. This series is about the problems that the state of California has. Boy, the state has a shitload of problems which needs to be addressed. But that would take all year long on the count making one video is just not going to do it justice. So instead of talking about the issues in one video, I decided to talk about them in multiple videos on YouTube and Vidme, and of course BitChute and Minds.com. So the first episode is dedicated to the fact that the state Senate wants to create a law that will jail people via healthcare workers for not using the correct gender pronouns. This has to be one of the most wackiest piece of legislation since the, that communist thing that happened four months ago with Rob Bonta, you know, where he tried to get a bill that would help hire communists to work in the California government sector. You should know what I'm talking about if you pay attention to the news that goes on in California. Now this is something that I oppose for one reason. California has a large prison population. We don't need any more people in prison. But I guess the state Senate thinks we need more people incarcerated and of course these private prisons will benefit from them because they get money from it and the entire SJW population thinks that those who won't those who don't support this gender fluidity bullshit should be incarcerated which I think that's a bad idea it's amazing how we just throw people in prison. This bill is called SB19 and it's being proposed by State Senator Scott Weiner. Wow Scott Weiner, would you mind explaining me about that? Your name's Scott Weiner? It's like Anthony Weiner. Both of them are Democrats. It's like, why are Democrats have names that invoke images of phalluses? <laughs> Phallic images, you know. And again, I guess Wiener part means like someone from Vienna. And what's in this bill is that is that any healthcare worker that don't use the correct pronouns may be fined or jailed. So if a person walks in a healthcare facility and they call this person sir or ma'am and that person tells them that they are using the wrong pronouns, this person can have them in jail for that even if they don't know the preferred pronouns was. And of course, this couldn't lead into, and of course, this could lead the entire facility being sued because of that incident. This bill could lead to more frivolous lawsuit people. That's the last thing that the healthcare system in this state needs on the count that they deal with frivolous lawsuits, you know. I'm not talking about where during a surgery a doctor left a couple of surgeons left a metal rod in there and he got all septic. Yeah, you can sue for that. I'm talking about if you stub your toe on a rock and say it has something to do with it. surgery gone horribly wrong. And I'm gonna sue this medical establishment. That's what I'm talking about. 
Plus, if this bill gets passed, it will, which it will, <laughs> of course, if this bill gets passed, which it will, we could see a shortage, we could see a shortage of healthcare workers in the near future because of this bill. Why? Because a lot of folks will be afraid to risk going to jail by working in the health sector. Yeah, nice job, State Senate. You just created what could be a health care crisis in the near future, where the health care system is overworked and overrun because there are not enough physicians or any health care worker to work at a hospital because they're afraid of going to jail and being locked up with Big Bubba, where Bubba Grossberg will try to fuck, fuck them in prison. But if you live in, but look in the bright side, if you live in the San Diego area or Imperial Valley, you and you, <clears throat> excuse me, you can always go down to Mexico for medical reasons on the count and which folks do anyways on the count it's cheap and get treatment there. Yeah, I don't like this bill. I have deeply opposed this bill. Hope and Maybe the federal government can shoot down this bill and tell them it's unconstitutional. I think it does pretty much creates a conflict with the First Amendment, if you think about it. On the count that nobody has the right not to be offended. But what I heard is that this bill will make businesses send their employees to transgender seminars and training programs, which is going to fuck up our business climate even worse, because most small businesses, <clears throat> that <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that people that want to open up their business in California will be afraid to on the account that it's going to cost them a lot because they have to send their employees to these workshops that are fucking worthless. And we all, in the state of California, already has an unfriendly business climate. We see this because not very many people will open their own stores or businesses, whether it's a department store, a boutique, or even a restaurant or something. There's a reason why people would just go down to Texas to do that. But I might make a video about California's business climate. And and whatnot. So, anyways, it's basically gonna create. Anyways, what I'm going to say is this, you know, about this bill. It's gonna create more resentment towards transgender people than anything does at this moment, because. The government is forcing people to respect transgender. And I and that's one of the good reasons I oppose this bill. It's amazing how the government thinks they're gonna help people and they make situations worse than they are. Take a look at the war on poverty. They decide the government in the sixties mean mainly LBJ thought it would be a good idea to have a welfare system to help the poor. What what could go horribly wrong? Well, I don't know. 
the welfare class will grow and people will just use it as a way to get money off of the government. And of course, the bureaucrats will just abuse, will just take control of that system and use it as a way to get free money on the account that more people on welfare, welfare equals money for these bureaucrats. So that's my words about this issues in the state of California. And there's going to be more episode about this shit, you know, about the problems that this state has. So I'm Boyd Wonka, and I'm signing out.